Welcome back, Tigers. I'm Alicia. And I'm Isaac. We hope you had an amazing Thanksgiving break. I sure did. So did I. Speaking of breaks, the end of the semester is coming quickly. And with that, many winter sports are coming into season. I had the pleasure of meeting with the swim and dive team as they start up their season. Let's see what they had to say. Okay, so uh, what am I excited for this season? Um, I'm really excited to start seeing our kids swim against other teams. Um, we came in on the preseason really conditioned. So I'm excited to see these kids race uh, and see how we compare to last year uh, at the exact same time. I think we're gonna be further ahead than we were before, which is exciting on the swimming side and on the diving. Um, they had a lot of off-season training. We've got three coaches right now that have been working really well with them. Um, I want to be able to see a lot more success, maybe see some more uh, top 10 results. Uh, Sophie made fifth all-time history at our last dual meet, so hopefully we can see some more progress in that direction. I'm excited for competition season, especially conference and sectionals. Um, I think that we have a really good chance this year at getting a lot of girls out to state, and I'm really excited to see how we do. Uh, I'm definitely excited for just team bonding, getting better as a team, um, working as hard as we can, pushing ourselves to the very limit. And yeah. So how is the team looking this year? We're looking focused, we're looking energized, uh, we're looking refreshed. And that's something, again, being refreshed, ready to go, uh, something that uh, we haven't always seen in the past. But um, reiterating the idea that looking focused, our kids have come in here with some strong goals, ready to work before the season even started. Um, I think we could say that for both diving and swimming. Uh, my goal for this season is as a team for us to win sectionals. And most importantly, is honor, honor and glorify God. So. Wow, good luck to those involved. Make sure to cheer on the boys and girls swim and dive team this Saturday at 10 a.m. at the Warsaw Invitational. Speaking of ways to get involved, here at WSHS, the interior design class is an amazing way to learn and meet new people. Let's head to Margo on this feature in the interior design class. You definitely have to have a creative mind, um, a sense of style, and a little bit of architecture background because again, our interior designers can move walls. Um, my favorite uh, thing we do in this class is all the hands-on projects in the mood boards we do and I just hang out with friends. You can just really give everything of your creativity into what you do and you can really be proud of yourself. Um, my favorite part probably is all the projects we do because we get to do something different every time. I would definitely recommend it to people that have like the creative mindsets and love, love drawing because that's really a lot of what this class is. It's fun, right? Because <laughs> it is fun. It's, it's like um, art you can apply to your everyday life. If you're interested in learning more about interior design, make sure to check out the class for next year. WCHS has gone through extensive changes with construction over the past year. Many things have changed, including the locations of things. Let's go see this update of the Media Center to see what has changed. Hey Tigers, apparently we've been receiving a lot of questions about where the new library is going to be. Well, I'm going to bring you a quick update to show you where that is and when you can be expecting it to be in use. I'm currently standing outside of the location for the new library. While it doesn't look like a whole lot now, Furniture is expected to arrive by December 15th, and it's expected to be ready for student use returning from break on January 9th. Also, something that should be addressed is that the bookstore is going to be moved to this location as well, diagonally across from the new library. Matilda auditions are coming in full swing next week. Let's get the inside scoop of Audition Week with Layla. Is it Layla? Let's see. This is Layla, once again, going undercover.
I'm really excited because this week I'm auditioning for our spring musical, Matilda. You can't show up to an audition underprepared. So I'm here outside P127, Morris's room. Hey, Layla. To get an audition packet. This should have everything I need to prepare. The packet has everything I need to prepare. They'll teach you the music at the workshop, but I think it's important to familiarize yourself. And let's just say I've been putting in the work. It's got lists of all the characters, and honestly, I think I'd be a perfect fit for all of them. Now to break down the timeline of audition week. Monday, December 4th is a mandatory workshop after school. Here you'll run through audition songs, learn a short dance, and get all your questions answered. So I'm actually thinking of auditioning for the musical. That's great! You know you don't have to wear a costume, right? What do you mean? There's nothing on Tuesday, but Wednesday and Thursday are really important. These are audition days. In the packet, there's a little QR code that takes you to a sign-up form where you choose either Wednesday or Thursday to come in and sing for the directors. It's also important that you bring your completed audition form. Friday morning, the callback list will be posted on the band app and outside Morris's room. Now, just because you didn't get a callback doesn't mean that you won't be cast or even that you didn't get the role that you wanted. Anything could happen at callbacks. They could have you sing, dance, or read for a character you didn't even audition for. So be ready to step outside your comfort zone. If you do get a callback, it is recommended that you dress like the character. It's important to note that not everyone wants to be in the spotlight, but I do. So if you want to shine it on me or do my hair and makeup or make sure you sound really good, sign up for Backstage Crew. You can get applications outside P127. Friday night, the long-awaited cast list will come out. It's important to remember that the directors know best and they may put you somewhere that you didn't expect. To accept your role, show up to the first rehearsal on Saturday, December 9th. Make sure to audition if you're interested in becoming a part of the amazing cast. Also, Tigers, just a reminder that FCCLA had their coffee bar fundraiser this morning to support design outreach. There will be more opportunities in the next couple weeks, every Wednesday and Friday, before school, if you are interested. That's all the news we have for you today, Tigers. We'll see you next week. Make sure to subscribe to Warsaw Area Career Center to stay up to date on all things WCSN. And make sure to follow us on Instagram at WCH School News.